Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have something that's a little bit unique. This is the Surecall N range. So this is a cell phone signal booster. It boosts any of the different carriers within North America for 4G and 3G. So this is voice, text, and data. And it's really cool because it's kind of a kit. So you have the antenna that goes on your roof, and then you have a phone mount for your phone. So you put your phone in that, and then it boosts the signal for that individual phone. It also includes a 12 volt DC adapter for your car's cigarette lighter port that powers the antenna. All that for around $200 on Amazon. So check the link in the description to find that price. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. So as you can see, it comes in a nice cardboard box and I like that because you can recycle it. Real quick while we open this up, just want to thank Surecall for sending me this device so I could test it. Thank you very much. So on top we have some marketing material, quick start guide. So the first thing we have on top is the actual phone mount. As you can see, it just goes into one of your air vents. Very easy to install and also remove. So if you're changing cars often, you can quickly uninstall it and reinstall it. Under that we have the 12 volt car adapter. So this is what you plug into your car cigarette lighter and then it will power the actual antenna. It just plugs into the bottom of the phone mount right here. After that we have the antenna that goes on your roof. This does have a magnet in it, so it should be pretty secure to your car. But just in case, they've included a 3M strip that you can hook to the top of your car to make sure that this is definitely not going to fall off. And then we also have some magnetic strips that you put on your phone so that your phone can easily be held in the mount. And that's all that we have in the box. So taking a closer look at the Surecall end range right here, this is the mount. So as you can see, you have a nice Surecall logo. So if you don't have your phone in it, it's still going to look good. It looks like an LED light letting you know that it has maybe a signal or that it's getting power. And then you have this nice little rubber part right here that should provide some grip, but I believe that's also where the magnet's at. Yep. So as you can see, this little center part is a very, very strong magnet. That should definitely be able to hold your phone. I'm gonna put this on my Pixel 2 XL, which is a very large phone. So we'll see if this actually can hold larger phones. And then the bottom here, you have the port for the actual power plug. On the back, you have the mount for your air vents in your car. And then you have a cable going out. This is the cable right here that you connect to your antenna. Taking a closer look at the antenna on the top of your car, it does have a nice aerodynamic look to it, kind of like a shark fin, really. That's gonna ensure that you don't lose any gas mileage because of this antenna. You also have a really cool Surecall logo. Looks like you have the mobile signal indicators on there. Very cool looking. This seems very well built. It has a nice weight to it. Seems heavy duty. And then the cable comes out the back. That's gonna also help with the aerodynamics and make it easier to uh, get that cable going inside your car so you can connect it to the phone mount. Looking at a, the car adapter here, you also have a Surecall logo on this and you have a switch that also has an indicator light on it. The plug for powering the mount is not a micro USB or even a mini USB, so you actually will have to use this connector and that's gonna take up maybe a charging port in your car, so maybe you won't be able to charge your phone if you have this in there. So now we've taken a closer look at all the different parts that are included in the Surecall N range. It's time to look at the quick start guide and as you can see, this is actually pretty easy to install. You first just attach the antenna, you using the magnet and the adhesive is only an option so you don't have to do that. Then you just install the mount and then connect it to the antenna and then power it by the adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in my car and we'll see if we get a good signal boost. I'll be doing this with different carriers including Verizon, T-Mobile, Ting and also AT&T. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just take the magnetic antenna, mount it on top of my roof. Seems very sturdy like it's not going to fall off. I can move it but it does not seem like it'll just slide off the top of the car. It might be a good idea to clean the roof right here. Make sure it has a really nice surface to stick to. I'm not gonna use the adhesive just yet because I wanna see how it does with just the magnet. Then I'm gonna take the cable, run it through the trunk, and then get it inside the car. All right, so I have the cable routed. One thing I did find, if you have like a kind of a little gap like this, make sure you have the antenna as close as possible so that there's not much slack hanging out. It kinda looks a little bit better. So what I did was I ran the cable all the way down this crack all the way down. I didn't have to use any adhesive or anything or take anything apart, and then I ran it into my trunk. From the trunk, I went in through the back seat. And as you can see here, I have the cable coming in. Now when I put the seat back up, the cable is coming out through here with the seat closed, and then I kind of just have to hide the cable down here. And then finally, I have the mount installed in my car, just in my air vent. It's powered by the little adapter right here, and I have the switch on. I'll go ahead and turn that off. I've installed one of the magnetic strips that came with the end range in the back of my phone, inside my phone case. And now I'll just place my phone on the mount, and as you can see, it sticks very well. So what you're looking at here is the SIM status for my Pixel 2 XL. This is running on Verizon Wireless. As you can see, the current signal strength level is negative 102. So the lower that gets, the better the signal is. The end range is currently off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and we'll see what happens.
As you can see, the signal strength is now negative 77, negative 81, and it is stabilized at negative 81. This is what I've been seeing. So that is an awesome improvement. So this was my test for Verizon. So this is the current signal strength with Ting, and the end range is off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So as you can see, there was a drop of about six dBMs down to 92, which is an improvement, but it's not that great. That may just be because the signal is so weak in this area that it's hard for it to improve it. It did improve it though by six dBMs. All right, so now I'm testing T-Mobile, and as you can see, my signal is negative 102 dBMs. I'll turn on the end range. And it brought it down to 96, negative 96 dBMs. So we had another six dBMs of improvement with T-Mobile. So as my final test, just for fun, I have an AT&T hotspot. This is the AT&T Nighthawk M1, and I have the magnet in the back. So as you can see, it's sitting in the car mount right there. So I'm logged into my hotspot on my cell phone, and the RSRP level right there is the current signal level coming into the hotspot. So I'm gonna turn on the end range and we'll see what happens. So it looks like it did bring it down to 92, 93, 91 now. All right, so as you just saw, those were four tests of the end range using four different networks. We had Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and then Ting. After doing a little bit of research and trying to gain a better understanding of how the signal strength works and what the dBMs actually mean, it seems that every increase by three dBMs is actually a doubling of the signal strength. So even with Ting, T-Mobile, and AT&T, where we saw an increase of about six dBMs, that was more than doubling the signal strength, which is awesome. Now, really the most important way Ways to gauge increases in signal strength other than just the DBMs is were you able to place a call in an area where you were not before? Now there's not many places I can do that with Verizon, but when it comes to T-Mobile, I do have some dead spots in my local area. So I went there with my wife's phone and I was actually able to place calls in a place where I was not able to before after using the end range. So very happy there and yet another successful test using this device. So really I'm very, very impressed with this product. It was extremely easy to install and you can install it in just about any vehicle. And it's also very easy to remove. So if you transfer vehicles a lot or rent vehicles a lot, you could easily remove this and install it in any vehicle you'd like. I found that the cable was long enough to route through windows or the trunk of a car and still get it up to the front dash where you would have the phone mount. And I also found that the antenna on top using just the magnet, if you do have a magnetic route in your car, which most cars are, was enough to actually hold it there with no issues. I drove around for about a week with the magnet on my roof. It didn't move at all. And I was a little bit worried about it, but very happy that it didn't move at all. And there was no signs of it scratching my roof or leaving any kind of impression or anything like that. So very happy with that. Another thing I like about the end range, there's nothing you really have to do on your phone or in the device you're using other than just install the little magnetic strip to your phone so that you can actually use the car mount, which is really cool. You don't need to download any apps. You don't need to make any changes on your phone or there's no hacks that are needed or anything like that. All you need to do is place it in the mount turn it on and after about a minute you get an increase in signal. One thing I didn't like is that proprietary power plug that it uses. So you're gonna have to use your car's cigarette lighter to power this device, phone, meaning you can't use like a phone charger or something, but, but it's also easy to buy splitters for the little 12 volt adapter in your car so that you could charge your device while powering the end range. Another area where I was very surprised with this, it also worked with my AT&T hotspot. So I know that that's not a phone, but I put the magnetic strip in my hotspot and it worked great. It also improved the signal strength there. So very happy with that as well. So that was the SureCall end range. I would highly recommend this device if you have bad signal strength in your home area or you travel a lot and you just wanna make sure you can have the best signal strength available. It works well, it's easy to install, and it's also very, very easy to use. If you have any questions about the SureCall end range, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description below so you can find this exact device on Amazon. If this video helped you, Give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.